maneuvering a 49-ton hunk of steel the size of a tennis court requires precision and extreme strength. This flip requires not one, but two of the mightiest machines in Alaska. These heavy lifters are perched 90 feet above the shop floor. They're strong enough to lift 75 cars at once, yet nimble enough to maneuver large modules to within a quarter of an inch. These are two 75-ton elevated gantry cranes. Alaskan companies use huge overhead cranes for the biggest lifts imaginable. From moving shipping containers to constructing heavy equipment for the oil fields. The strongest in the state? The two at the Ketchikan shipyard. Safety is the top priority here, so before the cranes lift any large pieces of steel, employees must clear the area. These break off, it's very serious. The two gantry crane operators get to work. Each operator controls his crane with a remote control console. We'll put about 10,000 pounds in each strap so they're all equal, and then we'll take it on up. The plan is to tip the 30-foot wide piece of steel up on its side before flipping it over like a playing card and then lowering it to the ground. OK, looking good. Go ahead and take her on up. Load coming up. OK, that's good. The first gantry crane operator slowly lifts up one edge of the engine room floor. Next, the second crane, which is attached to the bottom of the piece, lifts up causing it to roll over. It's a delicate maneuver. You have to get it just right to where it doesn't bend when you get it over. You have to pick it up in such a manner that its own weight doesn't distort. OK, hold that. Let's go west a little more. Now that the module is right side up, OK, hold that. The crane operators hold must on. carefully lower it onto a huge dolly for assembly. It's like playing operation. We had 98,000 pounds hanging. Swinging. Hold that. And then you touch down. The engine room floor must be perfectly level and positioned at the exact height as the rest of the hull before they can attach it. Now you guys want to bring your end down? Any irregularities with the modules could set back the tight schedule. OK, that's looking better. We're good here, Glenn. Keep doing the dance. We like it. Victory dance. Who's your the engine room floor is perfectly aligned. The team can now push it over to the ferry's hull and weld it on. 